What's good y'all? It's your boy AJ. Welcome back to another scary video. And this one got five scary videos of ghosts caught on camera. Now, this is about to be a longer video. You guys been requesting this for a long time. So I'm gonna start posting longer videos now. So go ahead and grab your snacks. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Watching the video, I'm talking to you. We'll wait. Welcome back. With that being said, man, without further ado, man, let's get it. Dude's top five. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Night shift. Night shift. Andy Bick is the manager of a care home for residents with autism and learning difficulties in Gloucester, England. He says that recently his employees had been complaining about odd noises in the middle of the night. Really? So, Andy decided to take the night shift himself. Late one night, Andy is sitting alone in the staff quarters. Suddenly, he hears a noise near the door. Oh. Yo, what is that? So it's moving at the top of the window, top of the door. Top right outside of the door, you see it? What is it? He's passing it. What is that? Oh. So it's moving in the fuck right in front of me. Top and right by the door. Is it like circling him? What is that? Bro, that is crazy. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> this is where I was sat when I videoed it. Tell is still in the same place. That's the door where he walked from. Obviously the light's still there. But the shadow originally came from this wall. Where that wall is just there was a doorway mm. which led into the flat. Andy says that a woman who lived right next to the staff room where this video was recorded had passed away a year earlier. Rest in peace. This wall used to be a doorway to her flat. Oh my god, what is that? Bro, I just vanished. That is some crazy stuff, man. Super crazy. But, what do you think? Are these just some very strange shadows being cast by the light in the room? Or did Andy record a ghost caught on camera? It's more of a you shadow decide. figure, but I won't necessarily call it a ghost. This but... little light. I could Most be wrong. Of you have probably know. heard of the YouTube series BuzzFeed Unsolved, but if you haven't, here's a quick summary. BuzzFeed Unsolved is a paranormal investigation show featuring Shane, a skeptic who doesn't believe in ghosts at all, and Ryan, a guy who pretty much believes in every ghost. Do not be afraid, do not be afraid, do not be afraid, do not be afraid. Yo! In this episode, they investigate the Sally House in Atchison, Kansas. I'm not which going is to said Kansas. to be one of the most haunted houses in the world. I'm not going to Kansas. Initially, it was believed that the house was haunted by the ghost of a little girl named Sally. But now it is said that the house is haunted by multiple spirits and evil entities. Think about it. This is the most, like... How do I say it? This is the most, like, um... I don't know. I, I don't know the word of it, but like the two people, they're opposites, right? You got a person who doesn't believe in ghosts at all, and then you got a dude who believes in every ghost. The perfect match, you know what I'm saying? So you got a dude who don't believe in any ghosts, and then like the other dude just screaming, like, dude, what they should do is let the dude who don't believe in ghosts at all do all this by himself, and then when stuff happens, he's gonna start believing in ghosts. You know what I'm saying? That's what they should do, man. This dude over here terrified, man. He's not built. The ghost caught on camera signaling Shane and Ryan. It's gotta be. Or does the BuzzFeed team just have a wonky flashlight? Let me know what you think. And how does it roll by what its own? What waits within? Well, there could, could have been a draft. A know. ghost hunter in Saudi Arabia decides to check out an allegedly haunted house. Now, viewers of this scary video claim to see everything from ghosts to gins and even strange creatures lurking in the shadows. They see everything, huh? But you decide for yourself. What do you see? Let me see. Check in on the house. 
حتى زي ما قلت لكم هاشتاج تويتر يا سيدي I'm on edge right now, man. Oh, they're gonna start kicking the doors. <laughs> Bismillah. I thought that was the same door. Whoa, hold on. I think I saw somebody. Trust me, we're here too. Bro. بسم الله بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمي شيء. It's not the way out. <laughs> Look, it's all fun and games until you catch a flying object to the head. You know what I'm saying? Like any one of the st these things can like fly up and hit him in the head. Like bro, we just throwing stuff around. They should run to the source. What are you doing? Bro, they're running straight to the source. I like it, but I kind of don't like it. Oh. Bro, they do not want you here, man. Yo, they're throwing stuff at him, bro. <laughs> Get out of there, man. They don't want to be bothered. Are you going to say the old saying? Oh, is he locked in? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a cabinet. I'm about to say. You're going to make fun of his mom? بسم الله بسم الله الله لا اله الا هو الحي القيوم لا تاخذه سنه ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الارض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده الا باذنه يعلم ما بين ايديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه الا بما شاء واسع كرسيه السماوات والارض ولا يؤود عقبهما وهو العلي العظيم بسم الله يا اخوان انا بضطر بضطر يا اخوان اني امشي يس شو ذا بن لاف بسم الله بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وات هابن وات هابن سم بزار ميس بلوز ثرو ذا ابندن بيلدينغ اند ذا جوست هانتر جست ديسايدز تو جيت اوت واز هي بين بوزيس سو ديد هي كاتش ا فايلنت هانتنج اون كاميرا اور واز ات اول جست ا هوكس Dude, there was a lot going on in that Alone video. Alone in the dark.
A little over a week ago, there was severe flooding in Houston, Texas that took out the power for many suburbs for up to a full day. I'm still a going to Texas. A top five viewer named Austin works at a convenience store in the area. And when all the lights went out, he decided to use the time to do some vlogging. But things didn't work out quite as planned. It is pouring. All day it's been pouring. So I went outside to go check. And our street was flooded. And in front of that, in front of his Yo, what was that? Bro, you way too calm right now. You're supposed to be alert. Especially right now, after that. He's still so calm. How, how can you be calm? It looks like you're by yourself. Look at all them beers in the background. I don't mess with beer at all, man. Beer is disgusting. Something is moving around in the, uh, the cooler. Are you gonna do something or are you just gonna keep sitting there? And why are you in the dark? Turn on the light. Yeah, leave. Don't come back. Okay. Screw all that noise. All right, that <laughs> that was freaking creepy. And I know it wasn't. I know I wasn't just hearing <laughs> because that happened twice. I heard it while I was talking, and then I heard it um, as I was looking back and listening to it. That was freaking creepy. And I was thinking, I was like, okay, some must have had fallen or whatever. There's nothing that could have fallen from being like thawed out or whatever. And it literally sounds like sound like someone was like, like in the cooler, tapping on the window. That's crazy, my guy. That was freaking creepy. You better quit your job. Not worth it There's no more. There's nothing that could have fallen unless someone's in there. Now, whether the noises inside the store were paranormal or not, uh, who knows? But Austin says that he sat in his car till the end of his shift and didn't see anyone exit the store. And no one turned on a light inside. So, just what do you think those creepy noises from the back could have been? I don't know. Birthday surprise. Birthday. So a YouTube poster called Riley says that he is employed as a desk clerk at a hotel that was built in the 1970s. Mm. He's working the overnight shift when suddenly strange things begin to happen around the desk. I'm freaking the crap out. So I was just doing night audit work back here and then I walk to the back to grab a stapler and I hear keys fall. And, oh my gosh, I'm so freaking scared right now. I walk out here and this is the breakfast report right here. 
and I put the keys with it and I when I walked away the keys freaking fell <laughs> by themselves I don't know if I set them like on the edge or what but they fell and I'm freaking the crap out people look at what time it is man what does the time say 2 55 a.m. and what when does all the crazy stuff happen three o'clock bro why does every time creepy stuff happens it happens at three o'clock bro like i don't what's so factuating about the number three man you know what i'm saying what's on what's with that i I don't understand like it's 2 55 almost three o'clock in the morning all the crazy stuff is gonna happen so that is bro oh my god it's still mind-blowing the paper moves wait it did i didn't see that I saw that. <laughs> but yeah, man. It's time to pack it up and quit, man. Not worth it. Crying? I would've been crying. I would've left. Now it's after three now. Riley says Ready, that man. he's never experienced anything paranormal while working at the hotel before. But bizarrely, this video was filmed on the night of his recently deceased father's birthday. Mm. So was Riley's dad trying to make contact? Or are the papers just being moved around by the hotel's air conditioning? You that decide. Could be true. Thanks for watching. Look, Please follow me still on Twitter. Though, still, everything always happens at 3 a.m. for some reason. I cannot get over that, man. All right, in the next video, we got top 10 crazy, scary ghost videos, man. Let's get it. You guys, still got your snacks? Let me know down below what you guys are eating on. Chick-fil-A, McDonald's. Paranormal enthusiast James White has a very spooky business. He professionally arranges and hosts seances in allegedly haunted and abandoned buildings in Toronto, Canada. James is hosting a seance at the historic Lambton House with a group of curious participants. The Lambton House is a former inn that was built in 1860, and mm. it is said to be extremely haunted. Never going there. Now, James White and his group are about to witness something absolutely terrifying. At that point, oh, it's a wrap. I would have left, man. <laughs> There's no way. While in the middle of a seance, one participant is forcefully yanked backwards out of his chair by an unseen force. It could have been anybody, is it a, bro. Is it a male? <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> the door behind me was open, and um, I had my partner sitting beside me, and we had the door, like the door was open behind us, and we thought we heard something back there, but nothing was there, so we turned, and I looked, and I saw nothing, so I turned my head back towards the group like the circle and we're all holding hands and then all of a sudden i just felt like this force just come and pull me back and it Yikes. was like aggressive like aggressive it wasn't like calm it was aggressive like it was trying to kill me or something out of you know, there man my feet were like flat on the ground i wasn't moving i was holding hands with the people beside me and it just pulled me 
and it like felt like someone was coming up behind me, like standing up behind me as I'm sitting in the chair and like taking my shoulders and like pulling me towards the mirror. It was crazy. Fellow participants and eyewitnesses from the seance took to Instagram to share their stories about the incident. One seance witness had this to say about the strange event. I sat across from him when this happened and it was fantastic to see. Fantastic. Another witness says, I was there. Another epic seance with at James White seance. What? So did James White capture Hold evidence on. of an unknown entity? Bro, that's all y'all care about? That it was good to see? Dude, he could, bro. Y'all not gonna make sure if he's good or not? All y'all, y'all, bro. <laughs> this is why I would not do this stuff like this. Cause like, bro, all they care about was, oh, it was amazing to see. Bro, he got dragged by, bro. Entity aggressively grabbing an innocent visitor. He's probably scarred for life right now. Are you worried about it? Feels good to see. To decide. No, nah, man. Is it a male? That is crazy work. Not even concerned from him or Scream. nothing. YouTube channel D's Dark Adventures says that an anonymous fan emailed her about a very creepy experience he had while driving home late one night. The dash cam video shows the man driving down an isolated country road in the middle of nowhere. Suddenly, he spots something that makes his blood run cold. Let's see. So a woman walking all by herself in the middle of the night as he gets closer he is horrified when he sees that the woman is yeah, black covered eyes. in blood worried for her safety he rolls down his window and asks her if she needs help excuse me you need help after which she lets out a blood curdling scream she got done deleting somebody man nah man keep it At pushing point, man the man notices that the woman appears to have no eyes only black sockets Terrified by her reaction and appearance, the driver quickly just gets out of there. He says that he called the police, but they never found this mysterious woman. So just what do you think is going on here? And what would you do in this same situation? Man, I would've kept going, I'm not stopping. The woman in white. Duke's top five viewer and paranormal investigator Mark Reyes emailed me about a video that he captured with his family while on a ghost hunt at the Evangelical Spiritual Church in Cicero, Illinois. The church was once used as a funeral home and is said to be extremely haunted. It's the middle of the night and Rick and his family are investigating the church when suddenly their EMF meter detects something that they can't see. What happens next is truly chilling. Are you afraid? That room over there is scary. Have you seen it? This one, come here. Oh, is that a piano I see? This one. Oh, I think I saw it. This is a private office. No, I'm saying that it's open because we could. Bro, there are pianos. Bro, I know this is off topic, but I want to let you guys know that I love playing the piano, man. Like, I, I've been seeing you guys um talk about how um you guys love music. I love music too. I songwrite too. I play the piano all the time. I know I play a variety a variety of different instruments. I uh make music and stuff like that. Well, I don't do it as much at, anymore, but I used to, but I'm still I still play the piano. You know what I'm saying? And um what you call it? And yeah. I was basically um music is in my soul, man. It's in my blood, it's in my DNA. I was born to, lo to love music. I listen to music. I love classical music you know what i'm saying i love music from back in the day like michael jackson uh prince uh bonnie tyler queen all that 
basically like that 70s 80s and 90s i love that style of music i don't really listen to music that they put out now but i li- i pretty much only listen to michael jackson at this point man because i can relate to him man bro those songs back then the 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 melodies and everything it's so beautiful man i can bro makes me want to cry sometimes man i'm sorry for getting off topic but yeah i love the piano did you see it I the definitely saw it. Who seems to be wearing yep. a white gown can be seen standing behind the family on the far side of the church. Ricky says that his daughter felt a presence as she looked back, but that none of them actually saw the mysterious woman at the time. The camera did. It wasn't until they returned home that they discovered what they had captured. So could this eerie figure possibly be the spirit of one of the people who passed through the funeral home? Yeah, it could Let be. Let me know what you think. That looks we need crazy scary though. videos. So if you see something that you think Go would be perfect do that, y'all. in the top five, send it to us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. That scared my mama. The burial mounds. Paranormal investigator Ian from the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is back with another investigation. This time at the mysterious Native American burial mounds at the Crow Wing River in Minnesota. Many people claim to have experienced terrifying paranormal activity at the burial mounds. Some have heard the strange sound of phantom drums and disembodied voices, and some visitors even claim that they have seen glowing apparitions at the site. I'm not going to Curious Minnesota. About the claims, Ian decides to do an overnight investigation in the hopes of capturing paranormal evidence. Things quickly take a very creepy turn as Ian searches for one of the burial mounds. Man, walking through these woods, I feel like anything could just pop out at me right now. It's Slender Man. From anywhere. Bears, Bigfoot, ghosts, anything. Yep, anything, man. Ooh. Okay. It's probably a deer. Probably a deer. I don't know if I'm going crazy. I thought I heard something or a moose. behind me. Hello? Who's over there? I don't know, maybe I'm just paranoid. I, don't know, I thought, thought I heard something, but I'm not sure. Ooh, holy shit. Ooh. Okay. You're definitely being followed, my guy. All right. Okay, I don't know, man. I, I, maybe I'm not going crazy. I don't know. I don't know if I should try this, but I'm gonna try walking backwards, because I want to see what's well, coming up behind me. Honestly, I don't even like walking backwards. You can't see what's behind you. Me. Is there somebody out here with me? Oh my God. So like I said, no. Holy Whoa. Shit. That scared me so bad. That was a straight up voice. And it responded to you. It's crazy. It was as if somebody was standing like right there. Hello? Sonic is saying no. Ian hears footsteps following him. Then he hears a loud, indiscernible voice. He's now a little freaked out, but he continues his search until he finally finds one of the Native American burial mounds. What happens next is truly disturbing. All right, here's mound number two. I'm actually not going to say anything this time. I'm actually just going to listen. Mm-mm. Unintelligible talking. Yeah, they're probably plotting something right now. kinds of things over here it sounds like voices we're already plotting on you man you They're gotta so get out of here a female voice can be heard speaking almost as if someone at the burial mound is having a long involved conversation But it's something else that really spooks Ian as he explores the Crow Wing River's edge. Something truly 
terrifying. Even though there's not much going on right now, it's a lot of fun just being out here, out in the wilderness. Even though it's dark, I can barely see 10 feet ahead of me. <laughs> Holy sh! Oh, goose? Just when I said it was fun being out here. Pretty sure that was a goose back there, splashing in the water. Of all things, Ian's biggest scare so far comes from the sudden sound of a honking goose. Holy sh! Yeah, don't mess with goose, y'all. finds another burial mound. Now, Ian knows that he might not be able to communicate in English with the spirits of the Native Americans buried there. So, he decides to just listen. What happens next is truly bizarre. <gasps> okay, I just heard talking. I sounded like a male voice. Could you speak again? <gasps> oh a my face. god! Dude, that was a face! <laughs> Don't I just go over face. there, man. Don't that go was over a there. glowing face! Ooh. Got a strong looking oh face. Oh my god, I cannot believe that! Dude, his face just appeared right there! Right there! Oh my god, that was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Throw a rock over there. It's one thing to see a light, a mist, or even a shadow, but a face? A face! It looked like a man, too. It looked like a Native American man. Ian hears another low voice speaking from somewhere nearby. A pale face then quickly appears and disappears from right out of the darkness. Ian is shocked by what he has captured and deems his paranormal investigation a huge success. So did Ian capture the voices and face of lingering Native American spirits buried at the Crow Wing River? Let me yes. know what you think. Definitely. You can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky adventures over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter, the San Haven Sanatorium. Nuke's Top 5 viewer Ricky and his sister Vicky set out to explore the old abandoned San Haven Sanatorium near Dunseith, North Dakota. Not the sanatorium there. was built in 1912 as a treatment center for patients suffering from tuberculosis. Many of these patients did not survive. They oh, passed man. away inside the walls of the San Haven Sanatorium. In the 1960s, the hospital became a treatment center for the mentally impaired. However, it was eventually closed in 1987 after many reports of patient mistreatment and neglect. The San Haven Sanatorium is now known as a paranormal hotspot, and to this day, those with an interest in the supernatural travel to the hospital to explore, hoping to experience paranormal activity. So, Ricky and his sister are carefully exploring the creepy old decaying building. They experience something downright creepy. You know, I've never some more. Oh, come on, let me have that. Couldn't tell you. Oh, that's creepy as You think? Oh, this building's Hello. getting pretty... Run down, man. Pretty bad. Those pipes put no. the fall, man. Sounds like someone's upstairs. There's someone upstairs. <laughs> There's someone upstairs. I hope so. Hello? Hello? Where are you at? Now, it should be noted that this odd event can be explained away as simply water rattling around in the building's old rusty pipes. In Ooh. fact, if you look closely, this isn't even a water pipe at all. Oh. It's actually a piece of old metal electrical conduit that has been cut in half. Mm. Nevertheless, it moves and rattles as if shaken by some unknown force. 
Ricky and his sister are a bit freaked out and worried that they might not be alone in the sanatorium. However, even if there was someone else upstairs, it would be impossible for that person to even reach this metal conduit to make it move. So this creepy capture remains a mystery. Is that you? Oh, my camera. The thing down the hall. A group of friends from Madrid, Spain are hanging out when they suddenly hear strange sounds coming from the bathroom down the hall. This music, bro. The soundtrack. Bro, bro, dude, why did I get scared so, dude, bro, no, it's not funny, bro, I ain't gonna lie, man, I know it's fate, but this is how I got scared, let me explain it, I was zoned out for a couple seconds, man, I was just like, just zoned out, and then when I unzoned out and paid attention, immediately I seen the freaking, the Momo looking face in the, bro, I calm you way off guard. Look, I know it's fake, but bro. And then he added a sound effect, bro. My heart drops my toenails, man. The guys are hesitant to look inside the bathroom, but when they do, something horrifying can be seen staring back at them. That's a terrifying User face, Ian though. Holval shares the video to TikTok with the caption, What the hell was in my bathroom? It's a mask. Now, it's certainly very creepy, but is it real? Or nah, is it all no. just an elaborate TikTok man, hoax? that's fake, man. You decide. It's creepy, though, but it's fake. <laughs> Genuine Intrigue. New homeowner and Reddit user Genuine Intrigue has been finding evidence that some kind of animal has been walking around his backyard late at night. Rocking. Curious to see what kind of animal it might be, he decides to look through the footage recorded by his motion detecting security camera. But what he finds sends a chill down his spine. Well then. During a soft rain, a translucent figure seems to slowly walk through the backyard. Reddit user Genuine Intrigue has no explanation for this bizarre capture. But what do you think this is? The ghost, man. Holton Avenue. Popular urban explorer Chris Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore Holton Avenue, an entirely abandoned street in Cleveland, Ohio. Now it's unknown why the street was left abandoned, other than it sits in an incredibly dangerous neighborhood. Really? Multiple bodies have been found on this street, and each of the deceased met their end under mysterious and horrifying circumstances. So dragging around his balls of steel, Chris Hill makes it his mission to record and document the abandoned buildings on Holton Avenue before they are demolished. In the middle of the night, Chris begins his exploration at the abandoned First Hungarian Baptist Church. He soon realizes that he might have made a huge mistake. Yeah, think look how I was looking. I could have swore I heard something. We'll investigate.
Woo! What's upstairs? You shadow. Oh, As Chris is exploring the basement, he hears strange noises, but can't identify the source. Then a door above him on the ground floor just slams shut. Chris quickly makes his way upstairs to investigate, and what happens next is downright creepy. I bet it's so cold in there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's the side. Chris finds nothing and no one to explain why the door slammed shut. But when reviewing his footage at home, he realizes that he captured more than he thought. Mm. A 4K static camera that he placed inside the church's chapel reveals that something seems to move towards the door just before it slams shut. Another static camera shows something pale and translucent moving around the pews while Chris is in the room. But that's not all that Chris captured that night. Because really? after a thorough walkthrough of the church, Chris decides to check out one of the abandoned houses on Holton Avenue. It did not go well. Just look at this, man. This cannot be it looks safe. on it. This is not a good idea. Girls, somebody's definitely in there. Sorry. I didn't want my lift. Yo! That scared the life out of me, man. While checking out the house's basement, Chris bro, hears moving. After that, bro, I gotta, I gotta go sit in the corner and think about my life, man. Dude, that, bro, I got scared twice in one video. That's crazy. But on the floor above him, freaked out by the sound, he quickly starts making his way out of there. But there's someone inside with him. Dude, look at that! Out from behind a curtain. That looks no real, man. Seems to be living in the abandoned home. Is he naked? Chris knows the horrifying stories of the people who met a tragic end on Holton Avenue. That's a real so person. He just Dude. gets out of the house, and with that, Chris has had about enough. He decides to just head home. Bro, now, somebody's for actually living reasons, in there, man. I advise everyone watching this to just stay away. From Holton Avenue. Yes, yeah, so look. But if you want to see more of Chris's explorations, you can find them all on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Bro, that's free fall. <laughs> that's funny. Tag user Jalen Rich is hanging out with a friend on the boardwalk in Santa Cruz, California, a little after closing time. Something happens that freaks them both out. Okay, but the boardwalk closed like half an hour ago. This is scary. Okay, I'm really bad at this. Whoa. Okay. Is there? Okay, I totally disappeared. Someone appears to be seated on the Santa Cruz Boardwalk freefall ride, even though the ride is supposed to be closed. But then, it's whoever disappears. or whatever it is seems to disappear Fade away. into thin air. 
Jalen explains that both she and her friend saw someone sitting on the ride and have no idea how to explain what happened. She got it on video. Now, the Santa Cruz boardwalk opened in 1907 and has seen at least three confirmed fatal accidents over the last 116 years. Mm. One rumor even states that a park visitor tragically broke their neck on this very ride. Oh man. So could it be that Jalen captured the spirit of someone who never made it out of the park? You decide. Followed home. TikTok Follow user home. Francisco Javier claims that strange things have been happening at his home in Spain after exploring an abandoned farm he came across one day in the middle of nowhere. He says that the farm is a place of intense paranormal activity. Madre. Francisco is recording at the farm when a door slams shut right behind him. After his days exploring the farm, he believes that something might have followed him home. Empiezo a grabar porque estoy collando sonido desde el baño muy raro y estoy solo en casa. Crazy. already gone now once you open the door slow they're already gone wait did you turn the light or did they turn on the light oh man here we go jump scare coming Oh. Francisco believes that he might be dealing What's with multiple that? entities as he begins to hear taunting voices, laughing, and even the sound of intense crying in the night. The chilling sound of a baby crying sends Francisco off to search his entire apartment, but he finds nothing to explain the sound. Another night and things escalate to another level when Francisco's Amazon Alexa begins to behave very strangely and absolutely terrifying. Alexa me da un susto de muerte. Oh. Why is it saying it like that? Francisco says that his Alexa is disconnected, yet it calls out in Spanish, Go to the window. I want to see you. And that's not the only time that this happens. <laughs> a female voice coming from the Alexa laughs out loud but then stops <laughs> as soon as Francisco comes around the corner. Then an entirely different, lower and creepier voice calls out, Hola, 
He bought on two of them. Nah, man. Francisco has had enough, but he has no idea how to stop the terrifying activity. He tries to continue living his life as if nothing has happened. But then one night when he's hanging out just watching TV, this happens. Uh, it's a little kid. Now it's not there no more. That's crazy. Francisco is startled by knocking coming from his hallway door. When he stands up to check it out, he spots what appears to be a small child looking in through the window. Yep. Shocked by what he's seeing, he quickly opens the door only to find no one there. Whoever or whatever this is has disappeared. So did something follow Francisco home from the abandoned farm that he explored? Yes. Could it even be multiple spirits? And if you were in his shoes, just what would you do? Man. I don't know what I would do in this situation. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on Man. notifications so that you know. More little story. Be careful when you go ghost hunting, man, because you never know. You risking you risking a chance of something following you back home, man. You know what I'm saying? No, just if you want to do it, just be careful, man. All right, in this next video, we got five creepy creatures. Uh, what five creepy creature videos that are scary as heck? Let's get it. Bro, my camera is like actually not good. Strange and mysterious creatures caught on camera. There we go. The creeper in the corner. Now, this video is a bit of a mystery. It was uploaded by Reddit user Spuzz, who says that he found it on Instagram a few years back, but he isn't quite sure who originally posted it. I've looked into it myself, but I just can't seem to find the original source. So anyway, in the video, a group of boys are investigating what seems to be an abandoned house. When they reach the basement, their exploration takes a terrifying turn. Really though. Yeah, no. You're starting to vlog? Okay. Yeah. yeah. What the f is down here? It's a, there's a fing ready. There's a fing candle, bro. There's a f there's a candle. Is that a fing candle? You got kids candle? doing this? That's a fing candle. Already? What the f is that thing? Oh, I want to see what the f. Whoa. Y'all saw that too? Dude. Bro, that's a creature. That's a cryptoid. toy. It's walking towards y'all. It's crawling towards y'all. Bro, it's right in front of y'all. The boys find a lit candle in the basement. Then a bizarre hunched over pale figure seems to crawl out of the darkness. When the boys finally see the figure in their flashlight beam, it hisses at them and they scream in terror and make a run for it. I can't see. Wait, hold on, turn your flashlight. What the f is that? <laughs> now, what's even stranger about this video is that Reddit commenters pointed out that when the footage is brightened and slowed down, you can see that the figure only seems to have three fingers. Three fingers? But, what do you think? Is this a creepy three fingered creature hiding in a dark basement? That's a Wendigo, or man. Is it all just an elaborate hoax? That's a Wendigo. You decide. Actually, Crawler. no. Cause they're like pretty Polish fast. Polish YouTube user Leviathan claims that he often hears the horrifying screeches of some unknown creature from the woods near his house. Usually the strange wails and moans are of no concern. 
as they seemed to be coming from far away deep in the woods. But one night, the screeches seem a bit closer. Leviathan decides to investigate, and it did not go well. is that Ew. is this squatting on the rock <laughs> what some As you should. commenters with a belief in the supernatural claim that the creature is a quote crawler a being that allegedly dwells in secluded places like caves and mines. Leviathan was understandably shaken up by his experience, but says he doesn't believe the creature to be aggressive. I think it's squatting on the rock. But I'm dead. What do you think? <laughs> so Let me know in the comments. <laughs> That's hilarious. To see more of Leviathan's alleged encounters with this creature, check out his YouTube channel. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. A very creepy Christmas. A family in northern Minnesota is celebrating Christmas. As one of the family members films, out the window she spots something strange in the distance, moving along the tree line. The family members head out into the snow to investigate. Oh my god. Did you see that? Him. Stay here, Rip. You stay here. Why is the dog way out there, man? Let me get closer. I don't know. Sparky, get back here. You guys hear it? There it is, right over there. Oh my god. Yikes. Hey, look, is that Bigfoot? Oh my god. We better yep. get back inside, guys. That might be Bigfoot. The family dog, a little Jack Russell Terrier, seems to be particularly freaked out by the mysterious dark figure. It charges out into the woods in pursuit, only to come running back seconds later in abject terror. <laughs> We're real scared of them. The footage was posted to a YouTube channel that mainly focuses on cars and weapons, so very little information was provided about the family in the video. Some YouTube commenters believe the creature to be a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot. That's what I'm saying. But what do you think? Is this real footage of a Bigfoot caught on camera? And if not, why does it seem to absolutely terrify that little dog? Oh, All no. creatures, great and small. Gwendolyn Severite and her husband live in a small tribal village in Saskatchewan, Canada. One night, they go outside to try to scare some annoying stray tomcats off their property with a spotlight. But instead, they find something truly bizarre. Gwendolyn takes out her phone and starts recording. Why turn the light off? Oh. Did you get it? Yeah. Definitely got it. What are you going on over there? An elf. Are elves real? Turn the light off again. 
if it starts charging at y'all, keep turning it back on too soon. It's right by the house now. Now, the native tribal lands where Gwendolyn lives have many stories and lore about so-called, quote, little people. little people. When looking back at the footage, whatever they captured appears to be a small creature, but with human-like arms and hands. So, is this footage of little gnome-like people, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I don't know what that you could decide. be. It's so blurry that my eyes can't, Return you know what I'm saying? My eyes can't comprehend what that in was. In the Philippines, five young friends vlog about their day as they fish on the Basai River. Without even noticing, they catch something chilling. They're going that way too. Yo. Did you see it? Yep. In the background, no more than 15 feet away, a coal black figure seems to run towards the river and then simply disappear out of sight. An alien? When the boys unknowingly walk over to the same spot only moments later, no one there. This mysterious footage remains unexplained. Like an alien. Only a yard away. Shanique Legacy from Fort Pierce, Florida was looking out into what? his backyard when he saw something move. Thinking it was some stranger skulking around his house, he grabbed his phone and took a quick picture. Later, when he looks back at the photo, he's shocked by what he thinks he's captured. Ooh. You see, Shanique believes the dark shape lurking in his backyard bushes is a werewolf. So anyway, still reeling from the terrifying encounter, he grabs his phone and starts a live broadcast on Facebook. He explains to his friends what he has just witnessed, and also shares his rather unique take on the experience. If that was a wild doll, that was a huge ass wild doll. That was too big. That was too big, man. I don't know what the is going on, y'all. I'm so freaked out right now. So I went back and you know relooked at the pictures again and zoomed in on them. <laughs> and I promise you, dog, it looked like a f***ing werewolf or something was staring at me. Like, it was literally looking dead the f*** at me. Like, looking right at me. Like, you got me at the one eye, just looking, up, looking at my head. One eye on me, looking at me. Now, at first, Shanique's live broadcast may seem like a hoax or even a comedy bit. But during the live stream, Shanique heads over to his backyard door. He intends to show his live stream viewers where the creature was standing. But instead, he captures this. That's my backyard. I'm zooming in a little piece. This is the, this is the exact spot that I just Oh, oh what was that? <clears throat> like, I really don't know what the f going on, man. <laughs> Time to pack it up and move, man. Like, this ain't no fing joking ass, dog. Man, I swear to God, I don't know what the is going on, but I am so freaked the out right now. Oh. Y'all. Hell nah, I ain't finna open up that motherfucking door again. <laughs> Hell nah, you ain't just seen that. I know I ain't the only one just seen that, dog. Hell no. Hell to the mother no. Hell no. A strange transparent shape seems to quickly dart across Shanique's backyard. His live stream viewers believe that the figure could be anything from a supernatural wolf-like creature to an evil demonic entity. As for Shanique, he says he is terrified 
and claims he has seen and continues to see a scary creature resembling a werewolf lurking around his home. Time to move, man. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Man, Please follow me on Twitter. At it's time Stop to Bob. move after you see that, man. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please smack the like button. Subscribe today to join the AA. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.